y'all welcome to horrible gaming my name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on my new modern Japanese city now if you're new here I have been documenting the whole entire build process of this island on both videos and live streams so make sure you have your notifications turned on to not miss the video but feel free to go check out those other videos and streams as well these are my favorite type of islands to create I just love city core in general but I have a huge spot for um, Japanese islands I also really love doing tropical themes as well but on my channel you'll find a great mixture of all kinds of different Animal Crossing themes. I am just obsessed with this game and I plan to play it until the next one and do as many themes as possible. Today is my forever island and of course if you're new here you probably don't know what I mean by that. Normally on my channel I do a bunch of different themes as mentioned and I delete the islands and move on to the next theme build. So in a summarization these are islands I don't do interiors on or beaches and being that this is my forever island one that I'm not going to delete and just like like flatten and redo constantly. I'm gonna be decorating literally everything from top to bottom. Now, I really wanted this island to be a little bit different from my other Japanese cities. I have done so many Japanese cities on my channel, not to mention for sure a lot in the Sakura season. So I thought combining both a traditional style Japanese um, cherry blossom like city with some modern architecture would be not only a little bit different from what I normally do on my um, Japanese uh, blossom islands, but just kind of making it a little bit different. I guess my overall goal for this island is to kind of have a Tokyo kind of vibe to it but starting near the city outskirts and then transitioning into more of the big modern city and I've actually tried this approach a few times on my channel but I've never stuck to it. It has been something I've been really wanting to do but just kind of like overwhelming I guess in a way because it's out of my comfort zone and um, I'm definitely glad that I stuck to it and we have been working on it. So as you see today we have been continuing basically from our last video and if you missed that I will have it linked in the video's description but I'm just adding another modern building next to this black one and actually this is supposed to be a very modern like hair salon but obviously we're limited on items there's not very many hair salon items I could use but I found this amazing code and I had to do a build with it so that is what this building is gonna be here I'm not sure what the building next door should be so if you have any ideas for it so I can actually you know add some more decor let me know in the comments section because I really don't know what the plan is for decor outside of it anyways after I get this exterior done we're actually going to be making a rooftop on this build now normally I would do something like this to look out over a really nice build and I am planning to do another something kind of like this on a different location on the island but I was trying to reduce the lag in a way on this build by not adding so many items so it's going to kind of serve as a purpose just to reduce any type of item loading that might happen in the um, area of this build but this is kind of like the finishing point of the whole modern building over here like I said I'm going for a modern and traditional mixture on this island so I do plan to make um, more modern like buildings but I'm basically just kind of like mashing the traditional builds into it to just add a lot more realism to the city but now that we finally finished this whole modern area we can start you know focusing on different areas of the map also now that this came to mind I wanted to address this before I totally forget during this audio but I've had a lot of comments asking me if I've neglected the other islands that we did on my channel like you know the entry idea videos no I have not so I've just been really inspired lately with this island and I haven't felt that way about Animal Crossing in like forever. So with all of this being said, I am still working on the beach town entry that we did. I'm still working on a couple of natural islands. I'm just kind of like waiting for the inspiration to um, arrive. Sometimes like you, I hit walls and burnout. Sometimes I go into a theme even and I realize, oh my gosh, this is not for me. I can't tell you how many times I have started an island and then been like, nah this theme is just not for me I don't feel like building it and in a perfect world I would be inspired for every Animal Crossing island but it's just not that way for me so I like to build islands that really bring me joy and inspiration so with all that being said I'm still working on a lot of the islands that we started on my channel some entry ideas that I've even addressed on live streams I'm just waiting to figure out like what I want to do content wise for them and also like what my approach is gonna be in the long run though I always want to be happy with everything I create and sometimes Sometimes putting off a certain theme or a build for a while is a good thing because then I don't rush the build and get burnt out during the build process. So just bear with me. I promise I'll get to all these projects we have been doing on my channel. Anyways, now that that's all out of the way, we're going to continue working on this other modern building here. I'm just kind of like finishing off the side of it and then we're going to start working behind it. So there is a few transitions actually during this part of the video just because I did change my mind on the layout a few times. But basically, I'm just going to do a really simple road transition behind this 
it's such an awkward space near the edge of my map. So I thought doing a road would be the easiest solution. And then now, as you can see, we're working on the second level again. And over here is actually gonna be where that rooftop is that I talked about earlier in the video. So I'm kind of like framing out right here with the tokenoma on this side to just like finish off the darker um, modern building. But now I'm gonna add terraform over here. And this is where that rooftop little spot is gonna be. We're just gonna do a really small, um, simple area. I wanted to show y'all to make sure y'all could see that it is indeed on the first level. I still can't believe they removed the fourth level glitch from us because that would help capture these skyline builds so much better. But we are making do with what we got. Now that I have all the tokenoma over here framed out, I'm gonna put a few of these construction items over here just to make it look like, like the uh, side of the building is under construction. And then we'll start decorating our little rooftop spot. I really thought that this was also just a really cute build to um, do over here. Being that it is at the edge of my map, it just kind of added something a little fun over here and interactive. But if you're not doing a building like I am working on today, maybe you have a school build. This would be such a great addition to a school, like a little hidden sitting area. So there are so many options, I think, with a build like we're doing today that you can incorporate onto other island themes as well. So definitely just keep that in mind. But I just thought this little rooftop was such a cute idea and it helped reduce any item loading and lag as well because we don't have to use a bunch of tokenomas. So my general plan just for this whole area on my island, including on the left side, which we haven't started, this is like my main shopping area and big city spot of the island. So I'm gonna have a lot of different shops going on over here. If you have any shop ideas you would love to see on this island, let me know in the comments section. As much as I hate to do it, I'm probably gonna have to part with some road pieces, but at least I'll like add some more custom design space for us. I have really no other plans for this island quite yet, but I was considering on doing a um, Sakura festival. So maybe we can definitely do that near the downtown part of this island. But as for everything else, I really don't know what my plan is for this island. I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing what happens. But I do hope that this island has just been bringing inspo to someone out there who really needs it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and map out this area with my road code. And then we're going to just like frame the edge of the map with some safety railing and maybe some plant partitions and call it good. Once we finish this location up, I think I'm going to start working on a small like little convenience shop. And this will be inspired by my friend Zawa Crossing, which is also the owner of the road codes that we've been using on this island too. I just really thought Zara's build was adorable and it really complemented the theme that I'm doing. So that will be the next step on today's video. I am really excited though with how much progress we were able to make today. I feel like we're definitely at a good start for this downtown shopping district area, but I do want to put probably my 7-Eleven in this location too, just to really highlight that there is a lot of shop areas going on. But anyways, once we finish up the details over here, we're going to start working on that little convenience shop. And this is where that convenience shop is going to be. And I thought that this placement would be really good for it because then we're blending in both those more traditional looking builds with some more modern style um, architecture like buildings. And I feel like this just adds a lot more realism because not every building is the same looking in cities. And this just really highlights both the traditional and modern look that Tokyo has, which is honestly a lot of where my island inspiration is coming from. So this build is kind of similar to my modern Japanese home build. And I'll have it linked in the video's description in case you want to go check it out. But it's a little bit different too. So instead of like, you know, layering with the medieval walls, we're going to be making use of the fence over here. And then we're going to use the medieval walls and storefronts. So the medieval wall and storefront combination is very similar to my um, modern Japanese home build. But I really like how this isn't as, you know, large of a build. It's kind of more compact and space friendly. So I really liked this version of Zara's build. And I also really liked that the build itself uses the short simple panel, which I feel like is such a wonderful item, but I hate that we can't place it on top of things. That's like my biggest negative with it. But that's what we're going to be placing actually in front of the medieval wall instead of the storefront immediately. So this little land strip, that's going to have customized short simple panels on it. And I just feel like this is such a wonderful layout. And then of course, once we get some decorating going, we're going to frame the site of this build, which you'll see in a few minutes um, with some more storefronts. And I'm using the green storefront because I liked the black roof matching the medieval wall top, but you could totally swap the color out for the brown one if you wanted as well. Now I do have a transition in front of this build, which you'll see later on that I really don't know what to do with. I think honestly, maybe doing some sort of a small parking lot might be the best solution, but I did consider maybe like doing a small fish market in front of this build, kind of to look like they're displaying some merch that they have inside the store. But if you have any great ideas when it comes to that point in the video, definitely let me know in the comment section since I'm kind of unsure on what to do with that. And I'm trying to still connect all this terror 
uniform with my marketplace build near the entry, which you saw obviously on the first video of this island. So lots of really awkward areas, honestly, on this island already, but I'm pretty excited with how well we've been able to like transition around them. As normally when I have a bunch of like terraform like we're seeing today on island, it overwhelms me because then I don't know how to transition around it or, you know, work behind builds like we're doing today. And I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job with all that. I feel like also this convenience shop is a really nice placement too, because we have the road behind us. So the transition around it is already done. And I often get asked like how to transition behind builds like we're doing today. And I feel like when you have a build behind a um, city core like structure or like some sort of a road transition, it just makes the flow of the build a lot easier to work with. So my advice always is to try to build where you already have some stuff like going on behind it or a road transition done, just because then you won't feel overwhelmed about all that empty space behind the building. So once I place these short, simple panels down, we're gonna get some decorating started. And I'm also gonna be placing a incline over here, which you're not gonna see. I'm gonna already be transitioned during the footage. But as you can see, we have a really awkward ending to this road over here. So I'm kind of like blend it out, also add some brick pathing and then get an incline place. And as you can see, it looks a lot better after that adjustment. I also feel like it added some much more um, dimension and height to the build and more realism because in cities, not everything is placed on one level. So don't be afraid to like terraform and have some awkward areas because then it adds just so much more realism. Like at first this area was really overwhelming to me because I didn't know how to fill it in. But after I got that little fenced area done right by the incline, the whole build honestly just started really coming together well. So after a few more details in this location, then we're gonna transition and do a walkthrough of everything we did on today's video. I hope that today's island build brought you some inspiration. Let me know if you plan on recreating it for your island. Before this video ends today, I do wanna give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Your support just means the absolute world to me. So thank you again for supporting me as a creator. A huge thank you to Adriana Dawson, Madison Rachel, Jim Holman, Cosmom, Ellie Dogmeat, Emily, Trisha Dunn, Dammy, Catherine Funk, The Artsy Gamer, Kirby, Opal of Wisteria, Irish Lady 51, Baby Blue X016, Cherry Dot Crossing, Amanda, It's a Girl Crystal, The Bellarific, and Connor Adventure for supporting my channel. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Let me know your favorite build in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you so very much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.